Hi everyone, welcome back to As We Speak. I hope you enjoyed my discussion with Joanne Jewell uh, of Mindful Parenting last week about supporting our kids during lockdown. This week, I wanted to share our discussion on the importance of social media and balance and the crucial importance of playing with our teens, especially at this time, something that Joe is really big on. Luckily, this is the one time where I really feel social media has been such a savior for all of us for yeah. these 13 to 16 or 12 to 18, you know, that, that, that sort of age group. Um, but considering that this is going to go on for a really long time, where do we draw a line? You know, what is enough, you know, in a household? Uh, I mean, I think, that I think that's dependent on each individual household. But for me, I have three sons. So my, my perspective with them has always been about balance. I never set a specific time around screens, but we always looked at balance. And that's balance across their whole life and balance around screens. So if you think about it, when, when we were teenagers, well, I'm obviously older than you, but when I was a teenager, if I wanted to read a book, I probably read an actual, you know, a hard book. If I wanted to listen to music, I would have listened to a records or tapes. If I wanted to find out information, I might have gone to a library. If I wanted to write a piece of schoolwork, I would have written it on a piece of paper. But you see, today, teenagers do all of those things on one, they could do it all on one thing. So it's, it's not, I think it's really important when we're looking at screen time is to look at what are they doing when they're on their screen. Because if I had a, one of my sons was playing the same game for five hours on a screen, I wouldn't have been, I would have been a bit concerned about that. But in those five hours, he might have listened to music, read a book, done some schoolwork, chatted to his friends. So I think it's really important to, you know, be interested, be curious about what they're doing, engage with it, talk to them about all the different things that we can use technology for. Joe, I saw, I saw in one of your posts that you're very big on play, even playing for adults. How would we play with our teens right now? Well, I think obviously part of this depends on what your routine has been up to now, whether if, if it's a continuation of something you've always done. So, for example, if you've always played board games with your children, if you've always, you know, watched films together as a family, if you've always engaged in any sort of physical activity together, then obviously it's much easier to continue that, which is why I'm saying, you know, your relationship with your adolescent starts when they're a small child. And that's something you work on and you build. If you haven't done those things in the past and you're doing them for the first time, then that's going to be more challenging. Um, and I think there will be parents who are now maybe have the time or the energy or the focus to do those things for the first time. So be aware that that's going to be a change and you're, you might be suddenly, oh yeah, I've got all this time, let's play together. And your teenagers are like, oh, that's a bit weird because you've never suggested doing that before. So what's going on here? So you need to talk about that. You need to say, you know, I've realized that as you've got older, we've stopped doing stuff together and I actually recognize and I'm sorry about that I actually feel a bit sad now I've realized that and I would I would really love us to use this time and maybe actually do some things together what would you like to do what, what do you think we could do that would be interesting so actually share that you know really acknowledge the fact that this is a change now if you've continued if you've always done it it will be easier to continue it but they will push back because let's face it, if the option is playing something with you or chatting with their friends online, they're probably going to choose their friends. So again, you might have to say, I get it. I get that you really want to spend time with your friends and I understand that, you know, but I miss you. Like we're all in the same house, but I feel like I don't really see you. Um, could you, you know, could you find a bit of time where actually we could do something together? So again, coming it from a very... A vul I would call that being vulnerable, really, sharing your own thoughts and feelings about that rather than having a go at them because they don't want to do something that you've suddenly decided that you want to do. So I hope you're ready to drag those teens out of their rooms to play with them. I'm sure it's going to have its moments, but I'm also sure there will be some fun included. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have any comments 
or questions, please do share them in the section below. If you want to hear more about what Joe and I discussed, please do click on last week's episode. You can also reach Joanne Jewell at Mindful Parenting ME on Instagram. In the meantime, do like, comment and subscribe. Press the bell for notifications so you're notified every time a new episode is out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you next week. Bye.